everybody. Welcome back to another Ding TV video. I just ordered the Amazon 4K Fire Stick and I'm going to show you guys how I would set it up. This is all the settings that I change right out of the box that helps my Amazon Fire Stick run a little bit smoother. I'm going to go over these settings with you guys real quick. But once again, we're only going to be dealing with the settings. If you want to find the best applications to install on your Amazon Fire Stick, Ding TV does have a file linked store and the code is 220-15867. We frequently update applications on there. We have the newest versions of all the apps and stay tuned for videos showing you how to use these applications. So let's hop right into it guys. I've already signed in to my Amazon account. From here you want to go over to your settings, hover over it, go down to applications, and we're gonna select on applications. We're gonna go into your app store and we're gonna turn off automatic updates. We're also gonna turn off in-app purchases. You have to remember when you turn this off, if you are trying to purchase something in an application, you're gonna to have to go and turn this back on. This is a really good step to do if you have children because sometimes kids can go in and start clicking around in an app and next thing you know, you have a charge on your card. So um, I highly recommend turning off in-app purchases. Go down and turn off your notifications and then hide cloud apps, turn that on. So what that's gonna do is if you first download your Amazon Fire Stick and sign into your Amazon account, you'll see a bunch of applications with a cloud up in the top right hand corner. That's showing applications that you have previously downloaded. If you're streaming on an Amazon Fire Stick, the least amount of apps, the better. Less apps you have to close, less apps you have to manage less processing power and less memory your stick is having to deal with. We're gonna back out here, back out again. We're gonna go over to preferences, select on preferences, and we're gonna go down to privacy settings. So in privacy settings, uh, we wanna turn off device usage data. So this is gonna to explain to you that um, they're basically using this to market to you and get you to buy stuff. So. We don't like commercials, we don't like ads, we know what we want, we don't need you taking up our processing power, so let's turn this off. I'm also gonna turn off the collect app usage data, and turn that off, because they just wanna know what apps you're using and for how long, and I don't really care to let them know. So also I turn off the interest-based ads, and then what we're gonna do is back out just to your preferences. Then we're gonna go down to notification settings, select on notification settings. We're gonna turn on do not interrupt. Now if you do wanna leave your notifications on and you wanna individually go into your applications and block notifications, if you have a pesky Facebook app that keeps popping up or something like that, you can go into your app notifications, select on the app that you wanna mute and select block to that app notification. So it's not gonna bring anything up notifying you of any changes, updates, so on and so forth. So let's back out of this. So now we're gonna go down to featured content, select on it, and we're gonna turn off both allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. Back out of here when you're done. If you like where it plays audio and video right from the home screen, don't turn these off, but anything that the chip is having to do extra is going to slow your system down. Now some people may disagree that this helps at all, but this is just how I do it. I don't care to see these videos or audio um, advertisements that they wanna to send to me. So I turn both these off. So I'm gonna back out here, back out once again. So now I'm gonna scroll over to My Fire TV, go down to Developer Options, turn on ADB Debugging, and you're gonna turn on Apps from Unknown Sources. It's gonna ask you if you're sure, you're gonna turn it on, and back out of here. So after I've made all these changes, I like to restart my Fire Stick, let all the changes take effect from the beginning, and I'm gonna do that now. So this takes a few seconds to restart. So guys, now that we're completely restarted, we can start watching Nitro TV or any of the free applications located in our file link store. And that number is 220-15867. You can see that on the screen right now. So once you type that in, select on continue, you get a nice little welcome letter from us. You can dismiss that after giving it a quick read. As you can see, we have the newest Nitro applications at the top. And if you scroll down a little bit further, we have some free media applications that you can download. 
So feel free to download any of these applications. If you need IPTV service, why settle for less? Order from the best, Ding TV, www.mydingtv.com. You can download all the latest applications from our file link store, which is maintained frequently with the newest updated apps as soon as they're released. A few things to remember when using a Fire Stick. You're always gonna have applications running in the background if you did not close them manually. So a quick way to do that is to go up, back to your settings, go down to your applications, scroll down to manage installed applications, and go to the application that you wanna close. We were just in file link, so let's select on that and force stop. We don't want that to run in the background any longer. Also, if you have an application that you no longer use or it's not updating properly or your kid downloaded or your grandkid downloaded when they were over the house and it's just taking up space, you select on the application, you go down to uninstall and select uninstall. Select on uninstall when it asks you if you're sure and your application's uninstalled. As you can see, I don't have a lot of applications on my Fire Stick. So the only applications I downloaded were Downloader, File Linked, and Nitro TV. So if we back out here and we go to My Fire TV, select on About. I'm gonna have to blur out some of this stuff, guys, because it has all of my information on here, but you can see that 3.8 gigabytes are free of our 5.2 gigabytes available, where it says storage capacity over there. That's fresh out of the box, guys. We don't even have four gigabytes of free space. So if you are trying to record onto your Amazon Fire Stick, or if you have tons of applications saved on your Amazon Fire Stick, this could be why your device is running extremely slowly. I always like to have at least, at the very least, a free gigabyte of memory on my stick. The more applications, the more things you have on this Amazon Fire Stick, the slower it will run. Guys, one other thing I wanna be very clear about, make sure you turn your Fire Stick off. It is like any other device, it should not be constantly running, they get hot, they get overheated, not so much on the 4Ks I've noticed. Uh, they do have the on off button, which helps a lot. With the older versions, people used to just leave them on for days on end and they would be like 500 degrees and you'd have to unplug it and let it sit for 20 minutes. So this is just something you wanna practice, turning your fire stick off. Just remember guys, if you wanna cut the cord, if you wanna save money, there is work involved. People aren't just gonna do it for you. You need to do the work, you need to get on YouTube, you need to check out the tutorials. We have plenty on our website. Any question you have, guys, at Ding TV, we try to answer it. If you have any suggestions for videos, if you're just having trouble and you want me to do a walkthrough of something, please leave a comment below. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful. We're trying to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. Help us out with that goal, guys. We're a little channel trying to get up there with the big guys. We appreciate the views and likes. We appreciate the response we've been getting from the channel. And thank you for everyone that's been supportive. Once again, if you need service, need help videos, if you need to know how to download free applications, please visit www.mydingtv.com where we have tax-free plans and the best customer service in the game. And I'll catch you guys on the next Ding TV video.